everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today we're going to work on the last Hawaii layout using the brushed paper from Close to My Heart. I have the pictures and all the pieces cut out. And let's see what we can do with it all. So I did cut out this Hawaii piece and assembled it. There is layers that go behind all of these. I don't care for them. They're just, they make it really big on the page. Okay. And then these flowers go, came with it and I just made some a little bit bigger. So you get this whole title with all of these flowers for 50 cents from Miss Kate's Cuttables. So it's a pretty good deal. And that file link is below. So I've got my pictures here. I'll, I'll go over the sizes in a bit. I hand cut this. I didn't have a lot of this paper left and I wanted to use this paper over here. So what I did is I cut using the thistle paper, the circle that is in the cut file. It is a six inch circle. And then I just kind of laid it up against the paper and hand cut that. So that's how I got this part of this circle. These two pieces are craft. One is three by eight and a half, and one is four and a fourth by six and three eighths. These are Cricut cuts. The file is below. It is from Art Booking, I believe. Okay, and we've got this leaf pattern. We've got a four by 10 and a six and a half by seven. And these are kind of scraps. And kind of, you know, like I cut some stuff off of them, but they're mainly just kind of pieces that are left over. The floral pattern, I've got five by 11 and a fourth and six by eight and three quarters. And then I have two white daisies that I did sprinkle the heck out of with Lagoon Shimmer Brush. This one went a little crazy because there was ink in the cap. So luckily I have plans to put paper over that. Um, but yeah, they... I went a little crazy on these little guys. Okay, well, let's slide this over. Let's work on this one first so that we can cover up these, these bits. I mean, it just went a little crazy. So the best way I can say it, having the ink in the cap is not good. So if you're gonna use a shimmer brush for shaking it, make sure there is not any ink in the cap. <laughs> I didn't know that was an important factor. Okay, and this is a smidge off up here. I'm going to actually take this back off and kind of center it rather than um, have it start at the bottom. Just because of the fact that I don't want the top to look kind of funky. Let me line this up here and I'm just gonna line that up there and just give it a little smidge on the top and a little smidge on the bottom. Okay, this page over here, this one over here, this one I think I, since I've got the cut sizes, let me go over here. Oh, I didn't say what the, what the photo mats are, but we'll, we'll deal with that in a sec. Okay, so this one was for that one. This one right here, and you kind of want to ruffle these up, make them look not so pristine. You could even ink all these. I'm not inking because then I have to ink every piece and I'm just not doing that. Not today. I'm usually not up for it anymore. I used to be all the time. That was more when I was using a lot of graphic 45 paper. I would ink almost everything. Let's make sure this is even. especially some of those layout kits that we would get at um, Pinecone Press. They have, or not layout kits, I'm so sorry. They're mini album kits. And they're really cute. I just am not really doing those right now, but we would ink like every page. It, I swear we spent days <laughs> on those. Uh, they're pretty cool. Oh, I need to put that circle in. Let me see here. Kind of do these at the same time. Another thing you could do would be like to cut out that circle using um, 
oh, I put that up a little high, using something like um, acetate, and then you would have it just to kind of hand cut if you needed it. Okay, let me see here. I kind of wanted this more down than up. really like this, this green paper. I'm going to be sad when it's all gone. Okay, there, much better. Much closer to what I wanted. Uh, and then I want to... So I've got three pictures for this side. Technically two pictures, I should say. Um, and one for journaling. And I just wanted to kind of eyeball it over here. This one does not look straight. It is not straight at all. Let me cut another one. And actually, let me open up my file because I don't remember what size those are. They are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So I'm just going to be cutting a smidge off of this. I um I needed some paper to stamp on today because I was working on a card swap I am in. Let me grab it. And this is the card I did. I used the uh, Hope and Kindness paper. Pretty much through all of this, we've got the, um, the craft coordinating card stock, the sage, and then that pine coordinating card stock. This is sage here. This is from the, um, the border sheet. This piece is that center area on the coordinating card stock. This is a zip strip and then the pattern paper. The stamp set I used on it is from In Full Bloom. I thought that worked pretty good with it. So that's why I have all these little scraps of this paper right now because I wasn't sure how many layers I was gonna do for that flower. I ended up doing two and fussy cut them. Take off all these adhesives and then put these pictures down because I'm going to build up some flowers off to the side on this one. Okay. <laughs> you can definitely tell when they're not pushed down too much. Let's see here if that works. Mm, a little further over. I know I'm being so technical, right? At least I'm using the ruler. The rest of it's all eyeballing. I did get to Home Depot today, which was nice. Miranda and I chose two strawberry plants we got a blueberry plant. We got one plant of broccoli. We got some, I'm going to do the, the flowers on that after we do the next layout, the next part of this. Um, we got some two things of romaine and two zucchinis. I didn't find any cucumbers. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking for now and possibly some green beans. Kind of debating on that one right now. Okay. And then we went to the bookstore and she picked out two National Geographic books. One is kind of a magazine and the other one, oops, forgot to mess this up is a almanac, a kid's almanac, which I thought was pretty cool. It has a lot of nice pictures in it, a lot of interesting things that she'll, she'll be able to look at and stuff. We found a, a bunch of magazines that are options for the future. So that's good. Did I want it that way? I actually really like it kind of that way. But was it supposed to be this way? I'm going to get these pictures on here because I don't remember how many pictures I have for what. Okay, so it's got to go that way. Okay. 
but we found lots of interesting books while we were there. So we'll have to kind of go back here and there and take a look. Lots of magazines that I was really happy are still in print. I'm not sure how I feel about Mad Magazine, but she doesn't really read. So it's just pictures. Oh, I remember. I wasn't putting this picture on this side. There was a reason why I had that white there. Silly me. So this is Dave, Odie's stepdad, and Diane, Odie's mom. Okay. Let me see here, because this piece has to go down here. That's why I did that that way. Okay. This is ripping, but it will be covered, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. getting towards the end of this paper though and so I don't really have a lot of room for boo-boos okay. so I want this more over here there we go that should work Oh, that pen also got me all blue. Okay, I'm going to put this down. I, know I put a ton of pop tape. I cut pop tape. I could have just pulled out those little bit ones I've got, but I was like, mm. I don't like them. <laughs> They're cool, but they are a pain to work with. So I was able to just cut some in half for this. And that is working for me today. <laughs> if I have something that's more tedious, I will try to use those again because I do have them. But I was very impressed with this title. I um, think it offers a lot and the flowers are absolutely adorable. Oops, I got one sticking to me. And it's nice that I can use those flowers on... The rest of the layout, I can use them for something else. I love having different flowers. Now for the flower centers on these, I just used those gems that I had colored the purple ones before, these little clear ones. I just used those. I didn't color anything on the inside. Wow, that, that tree went down quick. <laughs> I want it there, kind of. I just don't want it there yet. Oh, little poppy tape. Okay, stay still. Let's see if we can get that there. It's pretty close. Just a smidge up higher, so I'm going to take that off and get another pop tape. Probably shouldn't have taken them all off at one time, but I also hate bending things and trying to get them so okay so now I've got just the flowers left let's center this again don't need the ruler okay do you need that gone okay okay 
And what I had wanted to do was kind of hit this and move it all over, you know, because that's what it wants to do. Put these leaves aside. Let's see here. I could do the pinky over there, this blue over here, this one. So I kind of wanted these trios of flowers. And then I've got the little leaves. I'm not sure how I feel about the leaves. I think I like this. Let me grab my glue dots. Now, I did pop this flower and this flower to this piece. So everything's popped, but then um, those two are additionally popped. And then I added pop tape to one blue and one of the smoothie flowers. Or the blue, I guess, would be Lagoon. Sorry. And then there we go. So now there's a little area up there for some journaling or, you know, whatever she wants to do. The other thing I had talked to in my head about was kind of a trio, which I think I kind of want more of a trio here. Yeah. And let's see here. Let's put some leaves in and see what we think about the leaves. One leaf, thank you. When I just had the the crumb cake here, it looked a oh, crumb cake. Oh my goodness, the craft paper. Sorry, my Stampin' Up years are they they come in every once in a while. They come to play in my brain. Um, it looked just too much. Um, craft there and there yeah I like that so that's why I added that red circle because at first I wasn't going to put a circle there and it's kind of pinkish which matches really well with these flowers on that um, that paper the background of that let's see here put that one there Tuck that one in there. Hmm. Did I want to? Yeah, I think that might be good. Normally I would try to do another double up, but I don't think I want that on this side. Okay. Let's see here. What do we think? I think that looks pretty good. I mean, having the two journaling areas... Or if she has another picture that she really wanted in there. I know there was two other pictures that I kind of omitted. So she could always add those here if she really wanted to. And it would it would flow really well. Or journaling. And if she didn't, then we could put some strip journaling here or something. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how speckly that is, right? But there is this peach. And here is this page. I really like how this um, this looks with this paper, the little um, note notebook, notebook uh, borders. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those, and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.